Hi again. Uh, I would like to show you how you can check your valve uh, clearances and if they are not uh, right how you can readjust them. To be able to do that first step you need to put your engine to top dead center to TDC. I have another video showing how you can do that and I will add its uh, link up here or down in the description section. And uh, after you do that you remove the top cover of the of the engine. And the first thing you would like to do is you would like to check your valve clearances. And how you do that you have this kind of feeler gauge and this is the right tool to use. But for my bike this feeler gauge doesn't have the right uh, sizes. I need 0 0.08 for the intake valve and I need 0 0.12 for the exhaust uh, valve. And well I don't have any. So in the end I end up making my own filler gauges. Yes, they look very crappy, but I may sh perhaps show you if they are accurate. As you can see, if my caliper is accurate, the thickness should be accurate also. And that was the exhaust, and this should be the intake, and 0 0.08, as I said, for the intake. So you can also, if you have a caliper, you can make your own filler gauges. So, how do we do it? We, as I said, we put the engine to top dead center. And then we place this filler gauge between this, I guess it's called the rocker arm and between the end of the wall. And intentionally I made my adjustment. Uh, actually, I fucked my adjustment to show you how you can uh, correct it. Let's put the screw a bit tight and you check your valve clearance and in my case my valve clearance is so much because this the filler gauge should have a slight drag when you place it in between the rocker arm but this has so much so much game because I exaggerated so what do we do and in this stage we need another special tool for the spin the spin has a very small tip and I used uh, the, uh, what's it called the lever of an old uh, valve, water valve. I don't know if it's the right thing to call. And I have a small notch here, the size of this tip. And then you can insert, insert it here. But the first thing you do to readjust your clearance, you unscrew this bolt like this and then you place your filler gauge in between and then till you have a slight drag you tighten the spin and let's see I still don't have it's coming and yeah, yeah now I have a slight drag can be a tiny bit more I guess yeah now I have a drag, I can still move the piece, but I have some drag. And at this point, you place your that kind of special tool. You can, I guess, buy one. You place it and check the drag. Yes, like this. And then while keeping this hold uh, still, you should tighten this not in my bike for my bike it's a Honda CBF 150 it's 14 Newton meters and then you tighten it and to be able to you tighten this without a torque wrench I have another video I will add its link here uh, I am showing you how you can use some other tools to torque screws and you can check that video and at this point as you can see I adjusted my valve clearance to the specifications that the manufacturer says and now it's a slight drag and it has a slight play but not as so much and this is how you can uh, check or readjust your valve clearances uh, leave a comment uh, subscribe and thanks for watching